Hello there! Meet Fox, the Bard Fox and main character of my entry for February 2018 One Game Amount. In this video, let's talk about how I used simple shapes to design him. So I'll take him to the left so we have a reference for the character. And here in Inkscape, we can have access to the basic shapes right on the tool shelf here on the left. So we have rectangles, circles, and right uh, below circles we have stars and polygons. The default value for, for this tool is uh, 5 corners and on the, the star mode of this tool. So we will change the mode for polygons and decrease the corners for 3. So we have the first basic shape, which is a triangle. So these are the building blocks for any graphical design. You have a triangle, a rectangle, and a circle. So I'll start by creating the body of the character. And for this, we only need rectangles. So let's select the rectangle tool, and I will make one for the body one for the limbs, the arms and legs, and one for the head. So, uh, the rectangle tool also allows us to round the corners of rectangles. So, if you have the rectangle tool selected, and if you click over a rectangle, it will show the these handles. And if you click on this handle and drag it down, it will round the, the corners of the rectangle. So this is how you do these nice rounded rectangles here. So let's round the limbs. And for the head, I won't drag this all the way down because it will seem like it's just a, a circle. So I'll just increase it a little bit so it's not too to round it. I think this is fine. So we have the head, the limbs, and the body. And I will select all of these and by clicking on the color picker tool, I will make them this shade of orange here. And there we have it. And I will select this shape and duplicate it, so you can right click to show this drop down menu and we have the duplicate option here, so click on it and I'll duplicate this for the, the leg, the right leg and duplicate it again for the left leg so I'll be holding control to move this and lock the, the movement into one axis and I will change the shade of this, this shape by clicking on the color picker and click on this darker shape, this darker shade. And you can see that this shape is being drawn uh, in front of the, the body. And we don't want that, we want it to be behind the, the, the body. And one way you can do this is by going into here. And here we have a bunch of options for the the object we have selected. You can see the position, the the, the scale of the the object, and right here we have some uh, some options for lowering the the object into the rendering priority. So if you click here, and you can see there is a shortcut for that page down. If you click here, it will be drawn behind the body and that's how we want it so I'll duplicate this again and you can see that if you click once into an object you have these handles for scaling I will control Z that to undo and if you click twice and no matter how long you take to make the second click if you click twice it will show these handles for rotation, right? So that's how we'll be making the 
left left the left arm here we will rotate this a little bit and put it right here and we'll do the same thing we'll lower it into the handed priority and there we have it and i will duplicate this again and this will be the right arm but i don't want it to be rotated like that i want it to be flipped so i uh, here into the objects options we have the flip horizontally and you can see that the shortcut for that it's H so let's flip it and I'll be holding control again so it won't it will be locked on one axis only and I'll make this arm the same shade as the body so color picker click on this and the last part is the, the head of the character. So duplicate this and move it here. And there we have it. We now have an anthropomorphic uh, character. So let's duplicate this if we want to, you know, uh, use this anthropomorphic, this human-like shape into another character design or anything like that. We we'll uh, we can access this file and basically duplicate it again. So let's duplicate this once and let's leave it here. And there we have it. We now have the body of the character and we only used uh, rectangles for that. Now that we have a human like character, let's add some foxish element to him starting by the nose and the ears of the character so uh, you can see that these are basically triangles so let's pick up the stars and polygon tools and let's draw a triangle oops let's decrease the the corners of the shape to three so it is a triangle i will delete it again and start all over so uh, by holding ctrl you can uh, draw the, the shape using the center as anchor so let's start by dragging this triangle here and you can see that we need to, to round the, the corners of the, the shape because we don't we don't want the character to seem dangerous and that's what a triangle uh, represents in design if you have sharp corners on a triangle it's basically a warning or something like that so let's round the, the corners of this triangle. Uh, the way you can increase the roundness of the corner is going into here on the object's property and increase this rounded uh, property. So let's make this about 160. Yeah, that's fine. And I will pick up this, this triangle here and I will duplicate it. And I will flip it vertically, just as we did with the, the armor of the character. But instead of using the horizontally, we will use the vertically. And you can see that there is a shortcut for that, V. So let's use this. And now we already have the nose of the character. So I will pick up the color of the nose, decrease it, and to the... To, resize it on using the center as anchor you need to hold ctrl and shift together so there we have we'll decrease it a little bit yeah that's fine and for the year you just have to scale this triangle to increase the size on the to increase the height of the, the character so let's duplicate it and you can drag this this handle all the way up until it seems like a ear and there we have it we already have a ear for our character i think it's too big okay that's fine and i will rotate this and duplicate it and again, I will flip it on the horizontal axis, so it's the left here. 
and the way we can do this uh, inner ear right here is that we can duplicate this and holding Ctrl and Shift we will decrease the size of it and let's pick up this darker shade here and there we have it the ear of the character and we only used triangles for that so I'll draw the tail and the eyes of the character now and to do that we only need circles so I'll select the circle tool and I will draw a shape using Ctrl to keep the aspect ratio and Shift to draw it centered. So I think that this is not right. And the way we can make this curvy shape here is using Boolean operations. Boolean operations are a very cool topic to talk about. So if you want a tutorial dedicated to Boolean operations, leave a comment below. But to keep this tutorial simple, I will use only the difference operation and the intersection operation, right? So let me duplicate this and duplicate this again and I will rescale this, scale it up and leave it here. So let me change the shade of it. What we want is this this reminder here right we want this curvy this curvy tail right here so the way we can do this is by subtracting this shape into this one and the order of the objects into a boolean operation uh, is important because let me show you if you duplicate this and change the order in, in which they are being drawn let me make this up you can raise the, the selection just like we did uh, with the arm so I will increase it and if we use these shapes and use a difference operation this will be the result of the operation we take the top one into the, the bottom one so let me delete this and we'll do the same with this so this one is below and this will be the reminder of the operation the, the result of the operation so let's select these two, path, difference, and there we have it. And for the top part of the tail, we will do the same. We use a circle, but instead of using a difference operation, we use an intersection. So let me decrease the opacity of this object so we can see what will be the result here. And the result of a intersection operation is only the what the shapes have in common. So it will be just that. If you make the operation here, so path, intersection, this will be the result. But we don't want this. We want this and the original shape, right? So we will duplicate this to use as a factor for the operation. And we will make this a white shade and select this other shape here and now we can make the, the intersection operation that will return this and let's make this a white shade and increase the opacity and there we have it we have the tail of the character and the eyes are very simple so let's duplicate this decrease the, the size so control and shift to decrease it keeping the aspect ratio and the and using the center as anchor and I will use this shade here for the eyes so color pick this and let's make this right here I will decrease it a little bit so that's it and I'll duplicate this and holding control I will move it to the right and there we have it let me move this a little bit so the character is have a better face and there we have it a fox character using only basic shapes to do everything 
we use only rectangles for the body, uh, triangles for the ears and the nose, and circles for the tail, for the tail and the eyes. And I have a challenge for you. Using the same operations we did in the same shapes, you can draw the head of the character. So go ahead and draw a head for our bard, and you can even make the flute for it. And that's it. That's all for now, guys. If you like this video model, let me know. Leave a comment below with you, what you like it, what you dislike it, your tops and doubts. A link to the character file is available at the project repository. Links below. So keep developing and until the next time.